Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Estancia La Pacho here in Paraguay in South America. So we've got our corn harvest going on over here. The combine's actually stopped and and also where well, everything is stopped. I've just sort of started the game up again for the beginning of the week and I haven't actually started any of the machines running and I have a very specific reason for doing this. I, this, this is a deliberate choice. I would normally have started everything up and we'd sort of come in as though we were carrying on with all of our works, but no, this is a, this is a deliberate choice because there's something that I'd like to do. Uh, first of all, I said to you last week, should I match the truck with the, um, the pickup truck over there with yellow rims, put yellow rims onto this one as well? Uh, the majority of the comments were, no, please, for the love of God, don't do it. We do not want yellow rims on the truck. I think there was one single solitary person that wanted the um, the yellow rims on the truck. So sorry to you single solitary person that wanted them. It's not going to happen. So we won't be doing that. Rest assured, everybody else, we won't be doing it. I will leave it just as it is. We will be making no further changes to that truck. But no, the other thing that I said that I was going to do was I was considering looking at uh, course play in order to... Um, do the silage. Not not the silage over here. I was going to keep doing this the way that we've been doing it. But no, what I was going to do was I was going to look at using course play over at the BGA um, in order to roll the clamp down. And I thought this would be a good idea and I'm not going to do that. Or at least I'm not going to do that this week. I've sort of, I did consider it, but then there was a suggestion. Somebody suggested something that I thought was actually pretty cool. Um, and I thought, well, how can I make this work? I, I want to be able to make this work, but I want to be able to make it work properly. I don't want to sort of have any issues with it. So before I actually get to what we're going to be doing, we're just going to have a little drive down over here. The cows are now on 215. We had 195 when you left, but I rolled a 4 on the random events table for this week. And then I rolled a three, so that put us onto livestock. And then I rolled a three, which was the animals have had a higher than um, a higher than normal reproductive rate. Um, so we've had quite a number of twins from. What are you doing? What are you doing, cow? What is wrong with you? No, you're not supposed to be doing that. How are you even doing that? It's like we're playing Portal and Farming Simulator all rolled into one. That cow is actually eating grass over there. You'll see its head coming through a blue portal over there somewhere. Um, is it a blue that it comes through? That's what it's doing. It's, <laughs> it's absolutely brilliant. What is wrong with you? I love it. It's illuminated. There we go. Um, I think the cow is broken. The cow is definitely broken. Anyway, I did increase the number of cows that we've got here. We now have 215. We uh, we needed to increase the amount of livestock by 10% because of the um, the the extra numbers of twins and stuff. So that's what we've done. We now have 10% extra livestock this week. So we now have 215 cows due to an unusually high reproductive rate. And I, I think it's absolutely brilliant. So we've got we got more cows to add to the fold. Um, so, yes, now that that bit has been dealt with, we need to head over to the clamp and we're going to be taking this one here. Somebody suggested that I use Fluffy right here. This is Fluffy. You can see right there, Fluffy. Um, that we use Fluffy to roll the clamp. And I thought, well, this is an absolutely brilliant idea. I love this idea, using Fluffy to roll the clamp. Um, but it could take a while. I, I thought to myself, well, yeah, I, I like this idea, but... We, we might need to refine this idea just a little bit in order to make it work effectively. So I've I, I sort of got to thinking, what could we do? Now, I have done something like this before. I don't know if I've done it in the Let's Play. I think I've done it in Let's Play. I didn't even know those were movable. I thought they were, like, solid. Oh, ideal. I think I've done it in Let's Play. I've definitely done it in a time lapse. Definitely done it in the time lapse. Um, so what we do is the... the it comes around like this and then it goes up through and when it gets around to the other end it comes back around here like this and then it goes up through now the problem is if you're going to automate this you can't have it going too fast or it will end up tipping over we don't want it to tip over because otherwise bad things happen so we need to do that what we'll do is we'll have more than one so that it, they can follow each other and they will follow each other in a great big circle just going around here so that's that's the, the plan here um, 
I'm not, the reason I haven't started any machinery in the fields is because we're on minus $40,000 and I need money if I'm going to be able to lease anything. So we've got two options for money. We can either just increase our loan or we can sell some stuff. Now we've got 200,000 litres of corn right here of maize. We've also got a bit that has now been stored in the, except that the bakery is giving more. The bakery would be a better option. We don't really have a big bulk trailer for moving stuff around at the moment. Um, we've got beans aren't great. Sunflowers there at 1,800 over in the transport company. We've got 45,000. We could do it with that. We could do it with those. Um, but if we take a look in our garage, you can see that we don't have the best options for trailers. Now, we've got that little old trailer there. And we've got this trailer up here, which is, if I can find it, see these here, they don't actually take corn. We can't put any grain in them, which is not great. This one here is 32,000 litres. It's all right, but we, we want more than that. We want more. We, we definitely want more. We're very greedy. We want more. Um, that one is leased, so we'd be leasing another one of those. But we, do, we that's all we got. Now, this one here, people have suggested that it might be the fact that we got the tracks on the combine. So the combine is sat a little bit lower, which is why we can't get the header up onto that trailer. Um, so I don't know about that. We'll, we'll take a look at it. But we've got that one down at the shop. Anyway, we're, we're not going to worry about it right now. No. Um, we need another trailer in order to be able to sell the grain, which is going to hold us back a bit. Um, now, the truck... We've got our truck, so that's that's kind of my next option. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna jump over to this one over here, and what I'm hoping is that this truck will be able to take our trailer that we've got, and we can use this one to tow it around. So I can take 32,000 liters of grain, and that will put us back into positive monies, and then I'll be able to I'm hoping lease a bigger trailer to take another load of grain after that. So this, this is the first test that we need to do. This is what we're going to go and find out. Can we do it? Can we actually do this? Can we make this work? If we can, ideal, we'll be able to sell some of the grain that we've got stuffed in our sheds. Uh, where, where's the trailer? Um, the trailer's currently being used. It's on the back of the John Deere over here, which that puts a damper on things, doesn't it? So where have... Oh, I know what I did. I had a second course saved. There's the trailer. It's, it's full of grain. Um... I haven't really thought this through, have I? Right, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm not, I'm not going to take that trailer and then think about getting another trailer and so on and so forth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight down to the shop and we're going to get a big trailer. We need a big trailer to be able to run along the roads anyway. Um, it's something that we're lacking on our farm. So we want a bigger trailer to be able to tow stuff around. And we're going to be able to want to lease a few other things as well. So if we just go very quickly now, we're going to our finances and we're going to take out a loan. Now, we don't actually have any loan at all at the moment, so we can effectively take as much as we want. Now, I'm not going to take a massive loan. The trailer that we're going to buy is going to be the standard large cramper trailer and we're not going to um, sort of go overboard with it. I'm actually going to bring that back down. We're going to go to 200,000 and come back out of there right so we now have $159,000 um once I have done the next we're, we're going to get over to the shop we'll get this trailer we're also going to lease a couple more quad bikes so that we can use those rolling the clamp I don't know how effective they're going to be I'm hoping they will be effective I'm hoping it'll work well we'll get several of them driving around in a circle Right, I did just give this some serious thought, and then I decided, well, actually, we've got this big semi-tipper here. I don't know if this would be commonly used in South America, but I've had a lot of people asking me to use the Black Sheep Modding Big Tipper. So I decided, why not? We'll go for it this time. Uh, we'll set up, we'll go wide tires, because we'll be using it in the field a bit. Um, I'm going to leave the extra bits, but we'll just go, I'm going to go for main colour, red, and I am listening to what you said. You didn't want me doing the yellow on the rim color. I was very tempted, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to just do that. So we've got the black rims and we've got a red trailer. So I'll do that. And then if I come back out of there, we need to go into the miscellaneous over there. There we go. Misc miscellaneous. And we'll come over through here. No. Uh, okay. It must be in cars. There it is. The Can-Am. We're going to go into this one, and we're going to lease a couple more of these. When I say a couple, what I actually mean is we're going to have six of them. Six of them all together. Is that six? I think that's six. Is that six? Yes, that's six. Right, we have six of them. So we'll come back out of here. There we go. 
So we've got six quad bikes and we've got this huge great big trailer right here. Now, I know that I've just taken out a massive great big loan, so I kind of don't need to do any selling with the trailer. I'm still planning to do one lot of selling. I'm just going to back in under here. There we go. Why? What? There we go. We're, we're hitched on. And look at that beautiful big trailer. That looks absolutely awesome. I'm really loving this. I really am. So the idea is that I'm going to get this one up and we're going to sell a load of grain. Um, the load of grain that I have got my eye on this time is no we got 40 we got 1800 there for the sunflowers i'm gonna that's the one that i want to sell the rest of it we're going to keep hold of for a minute and we'll do stuff with it later on i know that we don't have that many sunflowers certainly not enough to fill this trailer up but it's still it's almost 1800 dollars there so i'm that's what i want to sell for today we'll grab those sunflowers we'll sell them then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually fast forward time so that we don't have it all overcast and cloudy. I like it sunny. I like that it makes the video look a little bit better with the bright sunlight. And if I could switch weather effects off in this game, I have mentioned this before. If I could switch weather effects off, I would. There's just something that I don't particularly like is having it all overcast and dreary. Um, when I'm playing myself, I probably would, but I don't particularly like it when um, I'm doing a recording. I just don't think it comes up very well. It, it's it's not, it doesn't look very good when you're watching a video back and it's overcast like this. So with the overcastness is only staying until I have made this particular delivery. So we come in around here. I love how long this trailer is. You've actually got to seriously consider where you're going and how you're doing it. It um sort of as as you're approaching things you've got to really take into account the fact that your trailer is considerably bigger than just about everything else around you and anything else that you might have been used to driving so you really got to think about this as you move around and when you come when you approach somewhere you've got to look at it and you've got to think can i get back out of there that's that's a big question is can i get back out again once once i've gotten in there how am I going to be able to get myself out of there? Can I, is there enough room to turn around? This has got a this much bigger turning circle than anything else we've ever used. Um, and are we are we going to be able to turn around? Are we going to be able, we, uh, what, what other issues might arise with such a huge trailer? Are we going to have to back out? Can we even back out with a trailer this size? Sometimes you can drive in and it's next to impossible to reverse out again. In theory, anywhere you can drive in, you can back out. Um, the other thing we've got, of course, is that the point that we got... Oh, no, it's transport company. Ah. Okay, that in itself is quite easy. For a minute, I was thinking it was the bakery. That's the one in town. And that one would actually be quite difficult to get to. But this one is going to be relatively simple. So while we go trotting off up the road, I asked you all last week, what tractor is Agco providing for us to pull the new Stara Estrella Sea Drill that they are giving to us. Well, it's not Agco that's giving us Stara that are giving us a sea drill. But what tractor are we going to have to go with it? Now, I said that we could have one of their challengers with a special coat of paint. So it would be the Viper Challenger or the Python Challenger. And we could also have, they sort of pulled a few strings. And we could also have a small Big Bud from the Big Bud DLC. And a couple of people pointed out that actually Big Bud is only the name of the biggest tractor. The others are just Harrison tractors. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, the, the number of it, the, the model of it, but um, they are just Harrison tractors. And there is a place in the States where there's quite a lot of them in scrap. There's quite a few of them scrap. And it was pointed out by, uh, you know, I honestly can't remember who, but it was actually pointed out by a couple of people that we could just have this scrap. Um, we could, they could, Agco could have gone and gotten a scrap small big bud, a, a scrap Harrison tractor, fully restored it for us and brought that over. Oh, I forgot, you've got this low point right here for uh, there's this low method of unloading like that. But if we lower that one all the way back down again, and then I press U, it actually goes to the full tailgate and will go to full tip as well. So you've got the low tip for when you're actually inside a structure. And then when you've got nothing overhead, no wires or anything like that, you can tip it right up. And it does tip out faster, does work better. So there we go. We have tipped that in there. But we haven't finished yet. We've then got to go and get the train. And we've got to bring that one over. And we've got to um, load up. And we've got to sell all of this stuff. Where is this train? Come on. Okay, we've got all of these. Now, there we go at long last. Um, you know, it might actually just be quicker if I reverse down the hill. We'll try that. All right, while we're reversing down the hill. So, yeah, I asked you the question with the Viper, the Python, and the Small Bud. 
Um, and we had 1,747 people answer the question. We had 158 people wanted the Viper costumed uh, challenger. That is the smaller of the two challengers, the Viper one. We had 383 people want the bigger one, the Python, the one that we've used before. And we had 1,206 people want me to get a restored small big butt. Um, so it's just a, it's, it's a Harrison tractor. They you wanted me to get one of those. So that is how we're doing it. They basically they've gotten hold of one that is being fully restored for us to be able to use. And that will be turning up at some point soon. I'm not actually quite sure when we're going to be introducing it into the series. Possibly as early as next week. But that is the one that is going to be pulling our Stara Estrela Sea Drill. Now let me just park up there a second and we can start putting these sunflowers in while that is flowing in. So yes, we've got, we're being given this tractor. So I will just add it into the game. What I will probably do is I'll just add the money that it requires to buy it. And then we will do it like that. So it's just a very simple way of doing it. Uh, the, the, um, the 450. So I was told that it's not actually a big bud. That's the big bud there. The big bud is the name of that tractor, the Harrison 747. So this is a Harrison 450. It's not a big bud 450. I don't know. Is, is that accurate? There's a couple of people have said this, but I've not heard. I hadn't actually heard this before. So I'm, and I've not researched myself. So that's um, I'm, I'm quite open to admitting that this is not entirely accurate. Maybe it is Big Bud and Harrison. I don't really know. Uh, but that's the one that we're going to be getting. That is going to be joining the team. And that is what is going to be pulling our wonderful over here. Uh, Stara Estrela 32. So there we go. Um. Now, the question that I want to ask you this week may seem a little bit peculiar, considering um, that I'm asking the people that answer the questions. I ask a question every week, and that helps to form what we do over time on the series. Now, I also do pay attention to what people write in the comments section, and I, you know, I'll ask you the odd question in the game in, as we go through. Like last week, I said, do you want the yellow rims or not? comment and had a few people comment uh, quite a few people commenting on that and so I've made my decision based on all of your responses another one was do you want me to silage or combine all the beans down there and I, very few people want me to silage it most of you responded with could you please combine those beans so that's what we'll be doing so my question this week is do you think I should keep going with these actual questions with the numbers and everything where I read out the numbers uh, you know we, we do a weekly question and I read out the numbers and everything to you for the following week um, and that's what we go on how important is it to you is is this um, I realize it's a very unusual question for me to be asking considering the number of people that watch this series versus the number of people that answer the question so it's, it's really the people who answer the questions um, that I'm um, yeah it, it, it does it seems a little bit odd because I'm asking the people that answer the questions do you want to answer the questions and you know technically you're already answering the questions because you want to answer the questions this may seem a bit peculiar but I'm still asking this anyway do you want me to continue with the random questions that I've been doing every week um, with with well let's we'll say the random questions with with the questions do you want me to continue doing a weekly question is this important to you does it make a significant difference to your enjoyment of the series? Um, so I'm going to give you three options on this one. You're going to have yes, definitely keep doing it. No, um, don't worry about it. It's sort of so it's not sort of a, a thing that you don't want. It's just that it, it doesn't actually make any difference to you at all. Um, or a third option, which is abstain. Now I, I realise that you know, yes or no abstain. Really, you could just not answer, but. Um, I, I want to get an idea of people that um, know they don't really care at all if the question is there. And I also want to get an idea of the people who will answer the question some weeks, um, other weeks they don't actually bother because that particular question doesn't affect them. But they do like having the question as part of the series. So that is why I'm going to give sort of the third option. Don't mind, I, well it's, it's going to be like a, a don't mind either way and then we've got a yes and a no. So it's, it's, I... I'm going to sort of look at the numbers on this one and then I'll make my decision based off that. I'm not going to say a definite, uh, you know, if, if it says no, but that wins by 20 votes. Um, this is not necessarily going to be no as the final answer. Do you, do you sort of get where I'm, I'm sort of coming from with this? So, yeah, that's, that is the question this week. Do you want me to continue on with doing weekly questions? 
Um, and I realize it does sound a little bit odd. I'm just sort of trying to get a feel for how many people... How, how important this weekly question is to you for like, the, the enjoyment of the entire series. So, yeah, please bear with me on this. And please answer if it makes any difference to you whatsoever. I really do want to know um, people's full opinions on this. It, is, it does matter to me quite a bit. Um, okay. Not quite sure why that one has drifted as much as it has. That seems a little bit peculiar. Seriously, what is wrong with you? Why, why have you drifted or is slid? It's just slid sideways all the way over there. And there is no particular reason that it should have. I'm going to ignore that for a moment and I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to start that one up. He can start doing his thing now. And I got Fluffy over there. I got several more Fluffies down in the, um, at the dealership, which we will ignore for a minute. This one right here, this one is going, we're going to start this one up and I'm going to see if I can go straight back to the course that I was using. Uh, is it on? There we go. So I got big field train. That is the one there. Uh, load course merge into loaded. Append to the end. No, so I want to load course like that. And then I want to go under here. And then I want to go drive course. So take that one off. And I'm going to just sort of see what this one does. I'm hoping that this has worked properly. And oh, yeah. So there's the. There's one end of the course. That's where it stops over there. So where did I start the course? I can't actually remember where I started this course. It's around here somewhere. I can't even see it. Did I start it all the way down the other end of the field or something? I think I started it somewhere in the middle. But he's now going right round and he's driving the full course. Even though he's on 70%, I thought that it would have gone all the way round. But no. It is driving the course, though. It is actually driving around the course properly, which is ideal. That is what we want. And the sunlight has come back. That's what I wanted. I wanted the sunlight. Okay. He looks like he's doing his doing his thing, and he's doing it correctly, so we'll let him be. Um, we are going to go dashing off down here, and we're going to get this little lineup started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring Fluffy number one over here, and I'm going to stop Fluffy number one right there. And then I'm going to go to Fluffy number two. And Fluffy number two is going to come over here. And I'm going to control F so that Fluffy number two is following Fluffy number one. There we go. We go control F like that. And I'm also going to just close the distance a bit. I think we'll do ten on these. I don't know how well this is going to work. And then we go to... This. It's going to have a very strange sort of purring noise on this one, isn't it? Right, we go like that. And we go up two. And then we go to the next one. You get the idea here. You can sort of sense a pattern developing as we get through this. The, the important thing is going to be how well this will work in a minute once we get up there. Right, we've got that one there. We can go ahead two. And then we go on to the finally Fluffy number five. And Fluffy number five will come round here. Right onto the back. There we go. And there. Right, so Fluffy number five. Control F and just bring up that one a couple points. So then we go back through all the fluffies. And I'm just going to go this way a second because I want to just get to it. Right, he is. He's waiting on the combine. No combine is in reach. Waiting uh, waiting until fill level is reached. The combine is busy working and that's doing just fine. And I want to go through this way. Oh, actually, I'll tell you what we will do. We will, before we do that, we will just go over here to this one and we'll start this one up. Not quite sure why it's out in the field like that, though. That does seem a little bit peculiar. Let's just bring that one in round there. Did I actually say that it is your vote? It's your game. Um, I don't think I did. It's your vote. It's your game. Head into the comment section down below. Let us know which one you want and why. And of course, don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right hand corner. Seemed a little bit out of place though, really. I, I, there was a bit delayed. Perhaps I, I should have done that when I was asking the question. I don't. Uh, yeah, I may have actually done it while I was asking the question, and now I sound even more ridiculous than I would have if I'd just forgotten. Let's not focus on whether or not I'm being ridiculous or sound ridiculous. Let's just focus on what I'm doing. Um, that beeping was from the combine, wasn't it? That combine beeps when it gets to 25, 50, and 75%. I have been told in the comment section, I think it was last week or the week before, I couldn't understand why it was beeping at me. It sounded absolutely horrific. Um, but it was, and, and that's why it was. Right. We have got four Fluffies all following us. So let's start this one up, and let's see what happens when we start driving Fluffy. There we go. 
Fluffy is following. Fluffy is following. Fluffy is following. And Fluffy is following. This is fantastic. Let me just bring this one on up through here. Let's see how well Fluffies do. We've got multiple Fluffies here. And hope A has nearly full grain tank. Well, I'm hoping that that will be taken care of fully automatically. Uh, yes, right. So all the Fluffies are going just fine. I can't actually go too fast. Because otherwise, one of these Fluffies is going to end up on its upside downness. Um, and I don't really want Fluffies on their upside downness. I want them to be right side up and happy and cheerful. Uh, so we're going to keep going up through here. I can go faster now. There we go. Look at them go. Look at all the Fluffies. This is brilliant. We may have to limit the speed when we are working in the clamp. I reckon if I limit the speed of one of them, this one here, the rest will just follow along nice and slow that's that's the theory behind this anyway now where is that John Deere forager it's way up the other end so it's not going to bother us we can go flying up through here without any interruption there we go a line of fluffies <laughs> this is brilliant we can have a lot of fluffies here let me just um, I just want to ease up a little bit I think now coming through here it's gonna start to get a little bit rough so we'll bring the fluffies in through and down through here, uh, corn 100%. Why is that trailer not emptying out the combine? Or is it? We will head this way. And oh, it's, I can see him over there. He is moving into position. It's okay. Everything has been taken care of. We've still got our line of fluffies. They're all going fine. So if we bring this one on up, I'll start this one. The, the final fluffy that we've got is not actually um, sort of connected to these. We'll have to just flick our way through all of the other vehicles. And then get that one lined up as well. And that one will just tag on to the end of it. And then once I've got them all lined up, we can tag that one onto the end. And then we've got to get back onto this one. And then you drive this one round until you see the one in front of you. And then you put that one going. But what we've got to do before that is we've got to lower the speed. I don't want to be going much more than about 20k on this. Because otherwise we're going to end up with an upside down fluffy. And an upside down fluffy is not a pretty sight. You really don't want to see that. Uh, let me grab this one. Bring this one on round. We come up through here like this. Easy does it. Now this, this is the bit that uh, requires the ultimate concentration. So I'll bring that one in. I will bring that one up like that. There we go. Now, can I get this working? We uh, Maybe we need more than six Fluffies. Maybe we need seven or eight Fluffies. But we can't really have very many more because otherwise we're going to run out of available hired helps. Um, there's only so many that you can use with the Follow Me. So let me bring this one up through. Premium number one is in traffic. I want to bring this one up round. And put that one onto there. Control F. There we go. Bring that one up to ten. Now, hopefully he won't go any faster than 20k. So the others will all go 20k as well. And they will just keep going round and round in a circle. Because I kind of went a little bit crooked there, they're all going to go a little bit crooked. And he's going faster than 20k. This is not good. But it seems to be working. It's actually working. We are compacting our silage clamp here with fluffies. Lots and lots of fluffies. <laughs> this is brilliant. I love it. I absolutely love it. I am very proud. I would even go so far as to say this is one of the crowning, crowning achievements of our Farming Simulator 17 career is setting up a whole line of fluffies to do our silage compaction for us. Look at them all. Look at all the fluffies. <laughs> I love this. Let me let me climb off of this fluffy a minute and we'll walk up through here. And we're going to climb up under the wall and we're going to take a look and look at the fluffies all working hard. There we go. Bring that one back round. There we go. Look at that. Fluffy galore. This is brilliant. <laughs> I absolutely love this. I really do. I am so pleased we had this idea. Thank you very much to the person that suggested. I, I'm sure it was more than one. It may have only been one person. And I'm really sorry that I can't remember your name. You all know by now that I'm hopeless at remembering anybody's names in-game. Um, so thank you 
very, very much to the person that suggested that I use Fluffy to do this job. This is absolutely brilliant. This is awesome, this is. I mean, I don't like the way that they're hugging the wall down there. We may have to make some slight adjustments to this in a minute. I think what we'll have to do is we'll have to stop one of them soon. And um, I can't actually remember which Fluffy it is that we're going to be using. There's the first one. And there's the next one. Look at them all. Look at all the Fluffies. And then it goes through to some others. So yeah, we've got... Ah, right, there we go. What are you doing? Oh, you're, you're turning around again. You are on 98% chaff, so you're actually about ready to swap over. What I'm thinking is that we'll get both these trailers filled up. And then once we've filled up both of these trailers, we will then be able to go and empty out the next two. So it'll give the, the Fluffies a little bit of a chance to... Uh, compact down what they're doing over there at the moment and then we can um, work on it again so let's just go through again what are you doing uh, you are blocked on the tractor behind you this is one very slight inconvenience 7030 premium is in traffic it's been it's had that warning up there for a while and I didn't pay any attention I seen this last week didn't I so we want to go like that and I want to go Stop driver. As soon as I stop... Seriously? What is wrong with you? Drive course. Stop driver. Let me move you on over here so that you're just out of the way of the crazy combine. And then I'll set you driving course again. Drive course. There we go. Right. Waiting until fill level is reached. Okay. Everybody is happy. They're all working well down there. So we need to go... Right, we got we got the Fluffy team. The team of Fluffies is working. I want you. That's your, you're the one that I need. I need to go and get that trailer over there and bring it over here so that we can swap it over. And then we can get this forager moved on to a different field. And we'll whiz this one around here like this. And I'm going to stop him right there. And then we can jump out. We can unhitch that one like that. Uh, this one here... Oh, actually, no. I want to just move the truck forward a little bit. I'll move him over here so he's kind of out the way. And then we jump out. Then we come over to this one and we come in here and we back this one up a bit so that he's a little bit out of the way like that. And jump out. And we come back down here and we unhitch that one. And we get back in and then we go forward. We whiz around. We back up again. And... We get that trailer on there, like that. Right, now we can jump out again, and I can hitch that one on. Excellent. We can come back over here. And if I start this one up a second... Nope, nope, there. Right, start that one up a second, and then we go into here like this. Then press H. He should go up across. Now, you know, a couple of weeks ago, was it last week actually, beginning of last week, we had a whole load of trouble with Field 1. And it was turning really strangely at the end of the field and was doing really weird things. I had a number of other people say that actually they have also had some serious problems with that field. It's just that field, the turning, they, they do strange things turning on the end of the field. So it may not have just been us. It may also have been that there is actually an issue with that particular field. I'm just going to move that one over a bit because he was missing that strip. We do not want to miss a great big strip. There we go, that's better. Right, we've almost finished. We have almost finished this field. We uh, we will. Oh, we're back on the fluffies again. How are we doing with the fluffies? We are forty-three percent compacted on what we've got at the moment. I'm curious to see if just driving around on this same circle is actually going to completely level everything out. Don't know. It might. It might not. We'll have to sort of wait and see on that one. Um, it might. If we were travelling, I think now that it's like slightly changed from FS15. FS15, it didn't matter where you drove, it would just level it all out anyway. I got a feeling now that you do actually need to adjust your track slightly. So when we bring the next load in, we'll move where Fluffies are going. We may even, um, I may even weave them in and out as, as I go up through the clamp. And that will sort of aid how they're doing the tipping out uh, they're doing the compaction now that might make a bit of a difference we'll, we'll wait and see we'll, we'll see what happens when we get this next load uh before i can do that though i should have just come in this way there we go um helper n has completed their task i very much doubt that you have completed any tasks i suspect that you have in fact 
just let me down again. Uh, oh, I know what he's done. He's gone the other way, and yeah, he has let me down. He's just let me. There's nothing but a singular massive disappointment. Let me just bring this one over here. The difficulty is going to be hitching the next trailer on the back of this one. We will see how we cope. So let's leave that one there. I, you're the one that I want. Yeah. It's done exactly what I said he was going to do. I'm actually... What I'm going to do a second is I'm going to bring this one along here. And I'm going to just manually go through and pick up these couple of little bits here. And then I will spin around and we'll grab a couple more little bits as well. And then we can do another... We'll do the strip up across the field that we got left. I don't think it's going to take very long. Or if I can do that in one fell swoop like that. Yes, I can. And you can turn amazingly sharp with this particular setup. These trailers are quite manoeuvrable. It's probably not doing the actual tyres a lot of good, anchoring them around quite that tight. But again, it does seem to work. So if it works, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's all we're going to go for. Um, it's We're working on the fields, the, fi the, the soil... It's not a heavy, compacted clay soil. We are sort of banking on this being a slightly lighter... It's not a really light soil, but it's kind of a medium. It's, it's kind of medium range is what we're going for. So um, we are able to have a bit of maneuverability, and it, it tends to um, move the soil rather than damage the tyres. That's what I'm hoping for, anyway. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's one theory. There's one way of looking at it. I do like this. I do like this machine. I'm, I'm sort of seriously considering buying this machine and keeping this as like a permanent edition and us doing more. We'll have to see how well the silage works out. We've got to get the silage out of that clamp and sold and that will be the sort of deciding factor as to whether or not we decide to keep this one for more, more stuff later on in this series. I don't, I don't really know at the moment. I genuinely haven't decided yet uh, how we're going to do that. Because um, there are a number of other things that we would like to do, including getting the grass sorted out down the bottom. We haven't done anything with the pigs yet. We've still got to do that. Right, let me stop you a minute. I don't actually want you to go off and do a load more stuff on your own because um, the independent thought with the drivers around here does seem to be a rather bad idea. We don't want to be encouraging too much in the way of independent thought. Um, I realise that independent thought is occasionally a good thing, it's just that with our employees here on this farm, independent thought is to be strongly discouraged because it usually ends up in them sort of sitting in a fence or parking up in the middle of a field full of crops where they shouldn't actually be. You know, like like turning round right into the middle of a field of sugarcane when you're supposed to be harvesting the field next to it. That's, that's the sort of independent thought that doesn't go too well with us around here. Uh, we've just got a little tiny bit over here. I'm thinking what we'll do next is... See, these two fields here, whichever one we do first, we go is going to be turning round in it like it was doing with the shooting cane. So we're sort of going to have to go in and bear that. And, um, you know, it's, I know that it's something that's not ideal, but it's something that we're going to have to put up with. What we'll do, though, is we will go up and we'll do that small field, sort of um, this direction, sideways. Uh, we'll do that one first, and then once that one's done... Then we'll, come, we'll drop in to do the next one here, and then we'll finish up with the canola field at the bottom. By doing it that way, we should, we've should we got sort of the least amount of driving on other fields possible for the duration of this job. And I'm hoping that we'll get this job finished this week. We've also got the combining, the, the, um, the corn combining down there. That shouldn't take all that much longer. We're, we're almost done on that. And then once that's done, we'll be moving up into the beans with the combine, because that is what everybody said they wanted last week definitely want me to do the beans with the combine um so yeah I'm, I'm quite happy to go and have a go at that i'm thinking i'm just going to leave this one going here and we're going to empty the trailer we got on the back of the truck it's going to be a bit quicker than waiting to do two trailer loads and we can also then see about um resetting fluffy although i'm looking at the time at the moment we are not really going to have time to do too much more so what i reckon is if we just get that one going there i just press h so he's away and then i want to go this way Oops, I didn't actually mean to switch him off. We'll, we'll turn him back on again. We'll take this one, and I'm going to take it on the dolly. I think it'd just be easier if I keep it on the dolly like this. It's just going to be a bit quicker rather than unhitching and moving the dolly around and so on. We don't need to do that. We can just leave it on the dolly. We'll, we'll run this one over to the clamp, and we'll get this one unloaded. 
and then at the beginning of tomorrow's episode we can restart the fluffy convoy and this time what we'll do is we'll have them weaving slightly as they move up and down the clamp and I'm hoping that is going to slightly improve the way that they're... <laughs> Okay, that was a little bit steeper than I thought. I didn't actually mean to become airborne there with 66,000 litres of silage in the back. Um, but, you know, if these things can happen, then it's probably me that is going to find a way to do them. Uh, yeah. I, I have actually done some stuff like that in real life. I, I don't tend to talk about that too much because uh, otherwise I, I could end up getting myself into a lot of trouble with some, some of the things that I have done in the past. Uh... I'm actually thinking, oh, okay, apparently they don't like stopping for people. Very dangerous, the fluffies. So you, oh, I see, we, yeah, this is the group of fluffies. I want to actually go, th oh, there we go. This is the, the, the lonely fluffy, this one is. This is the one on its own. I'm going to stop that one, and I'm going to bring this fluffy all the way up round, like this. And I'm going to bring it down here, and I'm going to stop it in the middle of this clamp. Like that. That is where we're going to stop this Fluffy. There he is. All the Fluffies have done a wonderful job. They're all parking up now. Excellent. And you as well. Right, so now we can all stop. Stop you. I'm not going to worry too much about the others. So you right here, what is your... That is still ahead 10. All the others are ahead 10. It's just that because they sprint down this line here, it's actually... Um, they, uh, they, they get a little bit closer. Let's just come over onto this one, and we can tip this one out. Now, I'm going to try and get as tight to this wall as I can before we do this particular tip. There we go. I'll bring it up a bit. Oh, yeah, that's the problem with tipping close to the wall, is that it um, it lifts it right up. Now, we did see that it's it's not particularly even when you're tipping in here. We, we did find that out last week, but it, it should be all right, it says, as he gets hopelessly stuck. Oh. Nope, we're not hopelessly stuck. And just ignore the fact that I've just crunched that one into the walls of the silage clamp. I mean, we know that we couldn't really be doing this anyway because these trailers do require a specialist hoist at the point of being unloaded. Um, they don't... They, they, you cannot empty them out on their own. It's not possible. You have to have um, some lifting equipment to empty them out where where the unload point is so we do know that so we, we technically we're not actually able to do that like that there is uh, we have to say that there's like a hoist there or something like that um but yeah we we, we we won't worry about the minor details like that we're just using the trailers that we've got my question for this week is do you want me to continue doing the weekly questions how important are the weekly questions to your enjoyment of this series do you really like it is it something that is you definitely want me to keep doing and keep asking these questions because you love the way that it's sort of your input is influencing the development of the series um i do also ask questions in and read your comments in the comment section i sort of base it off of that as well so this is not the only way that you have input into the series i also take suggestions like the fluffy train that we've got going here this week um, that was based purely off a suggestion from a viewer. There was nothing else. There was no other input on that. It wasn't my idea at all. I was gonna. I was actually planning to go a completely different route, but I thought this was a really good idea, and I would go with it. So, do the weekly questions? How important are they to you? Do Do you really want me to keep the um, questions going? Are they not particularly important? You wouldn't mind seeing them go. It's it's using up other time that I could be doing to you know for for different things or something like that. I'm not really sure. Um, or would you rather that um, or are you sort of not particularly fussed? Is it you know if they're there you will answer them. Sometimes when the question is important to you personally, uh, the rest of the time you tend to just kind of ignore it. Um, this particular week's question is quite important for the development of the you know for the. On, rest of this series and for more series to follow on afterwards um, and I'm not necessarily going to take the final results as the gospel yes I will continue it I, I will really I, I'm going to be looking at like the numbers and everything um, I just want to get an idea of the people who watch this series how important is it to you so it's your vote, it's your game. Head into the comment section down below, let us know which one you want and why and of course don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right hand corner and that is all I've got time for today. We will continue on with this tomorrow. We, it shouldn't actually take very long to finish this field at all. 
And like I said, I'm hoping to finish this this week. We will get that combine. The corn isn't going to take too much longer either. Let's go and take a look at the corn, actually. We haven't looked at the corn for a bit. And he has got not a great deal left, to be honest. I think this one is going to be finished in fairly reasonable time as well. Especially as we've got it auto-unloading with the uh, course play tractor set up over there. That is actually, I'm really pleased with that. Um, so we'll be able to get the headers swapped over fairly soon and get this one going on the beans. So we should get a good bean harvest going on as well. Um, so if you enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.